Hi, in this tutorial I'll start with the navigation in Blender. I'll show you how to rotate around objects, pan, zoom in and out, how to view objects from different perspectives and more in object and edit mode. Since this is a 3D software and we'll be creating three dimensional objects, navigation is a lot more complicated than GIMP or Inkscape for example. There are a lot of options in keyboard shortcuts. Not all of them are essential for the creative process, but most of them are and you need to be able to use them sometimes without even thinking about it. Of course, this will come with the practice and time. It may be frustrating at first, but you'll get over it and all you need to do is just take it step by step. Do not rush things and you'll see that soon all will become clear and easy. But like I said, there is a lot to cover here, so I'm going to divide this tutorial in parts. Let's get started by duplicating this cube here that is created for us by default. Click on this duplicate objects option, then press the escape key. Then I'm going to click on this green arrow here and I'm going to drag this cube over here. I'm going to release the mouse. Next, I want you to hold down the middle mouse button and start dragging and you see that we are rotating around, but we are not rotating around the cube which is selected and this selection is indicated by this kind of orange glow outline. I'm going to make tutorials dedicated to selecting, but for now know that when you use the right mouse button, click with that and you see that you can select this cube that is in the middle of the grid here. I'm going to grab the red arrow this time with the left mouse button and I'm going to drag it over here. And the reason I did this is because now when I hold down the middle mouse button, drag and rotate around again, you see that once again we are rotating in the middle of the grid. Now I'm going to click on the other cube again to select it with the right mouse button and to be able to view this object and rotate around it I'll press the Del key on the numpad. This is located usually on the right side of the keyboard. The numbers there you have an enter key plus minus. Those numbers are not the same numbers as the numbers above the letters. So click that del key, also there's a dot, it's between the enter and insert key. And when we click, you see that now we are viewing this object and this option is called view selected. One of the most important options. And now if I hold down the middle mouse button and start rotating around, you see that I'm rotating around this cube, left, right, I can see the bottom, the top, if I want to. There is another option on the numpad between the num lock and the star, a dash. I want you to press that and you see that now if I rotate around the other cube disappeared. This is called view local. So I'm only viewing the selected object right now and everything else disappeared. This can be very useful sometimes. I'm going to press it one more time to switch back to user perspective and view selected. Now there are many ways to zoom in and out and I'm going to talk about all of them but one of the most important is just using the mouse wheel, turning the mouse wheel forward and backward and you see you can zoom in and zoom out. Also another way to do this is holding down the control key hold down the middle mouse button or the mouse wheel and then just drag forward to zoom out or drag backwards to zoom in. There are many ways to pan. One of the most useful and used is holding down the shift key, holding down the middle mouse button and you see that now you can pan around Now let's go ahead and select the edit mode from here. 
you can switch between edit and object mode with pressing the tab key. In this edit mode, I can select vertices, edges, and faces. I'm going to select this vertex over here by clicking with the right mouse button. And I'm going to rotate around now again by holding down the middle mouse button. And notice now that I'm not rotating around the vertex, but I'm rotating around the cube. So I'll need to press the Del key on the numpad to be able to view the selected vertex. So let's do that. And you see now that I can rotate around this vertex, zoom in and out of it. Now let's go back to the object mode. And I'm going to hit the home key, which is above the arrows. And you see now that I'm viewing all. This is the option for view all. And if I decide to delete this light here, I'm going to right click on that to select it, then delete it, Del key, then click enter. I'll do the same with the camera, Del key, enter. And now if I press the home key, which is the view all option, you see that this zoomed in on the cubes because we no longer have a light and a camera which were away from the cubes and this made it zoom out a little bit more. So let's practice some of what we've learned here and I want to select that vertex over there and I'm going to right click on the cube to select it then click on the Del key on the numpad then I'm going to hold down the middle mouse button to rotate or orbit around it then I'm going to press the tab key to enter edit mode right click on the vertex and then again I'll hit the Del key to view selected. So that's it for this tutorial. There are a lot more options to discuss, but I'm going to continue in the next part. Bye for now.